Good evening everybody, welcome to you all. It's Friday evening, it's the 22nd of May and here we are quizzing with you guys uh, at Oracle. This is fun, this is this is not like our usual events. We are doing a private quiz just for 28 of you at the moment that have signed in to myquiz.org. Uh, for those of you that uh, I've never met before who or don't recognise me, my name is Mark, I am a regular quiz master. I, I host the Big British Bucharest Quiz and uh, I've also hosted a quiz for you guys in the past. So hopefully uh, some of you might recognise me. If not, don't worry, we're gonna become best friends in the next hour or so. Um, Let's explain what's going on because it might be a bit confusing for all of us. First of all, a bit of history on why we're even doing quizzes online. Obviously, we have the lockdown, which has been, uh, you know, tough for everybody. And two months ago, my business doing quizzes and uh, corporate events and all the fun stuff that we get to do after work, uh, we had to stop it because of the lockdown. So we quickly switched on uh, to everything online, launched a quiz and it took off. And we've been very lucky in that we picked up uh, enough people playing uh, two or three times a week uh, that we can continue as a business. So we've done lots of corporate events, including uh, our biggest one was Facebook, actually, uh, in the UK. We did a, a big quiz for their stuff. And I'm very pleased to be doing one for you guys. So look, a couple of things. First of all, over here, you can see the feed. And some people are starting to get involved already. And we like that, OK? Because if you're watching on YouTube, you should be able to see the live chat. And that's how we can all stay in touch this evening. So do say hello, as many of you are. So Radhika, who uh, is a good friend of mine and suggested we do it for you, she's the first to say hello. Dina, Yulia, John, Christina, Eniko, Andoni, and Ambitious, who has got possibly the best name so far. I, I mean, that's a bit like, I hope that's not your real name, because, I mean, that's like a Beyonce or something, isn't it? You know, it's just like a one-word name. Actually, she's got two names. Adele? No, I don't know. But Ambitious, great name. Good evening, Sophia and Adriana, all signing in as well. So do join in with the chat as we go. You should be signed in to www.myquiz.org uh, uh, and you should be using this code up here, 356592. That is a private code and it is only for you. And in terms of privacy, this feed is private just to you guys as well. We are not uh, doing an open feed. So the only people that you can see uh, watching on this stream are your friends and your colleagues. So the quiz, how does it work? Well, hopefully you've put me onto your TV screen or maybe you've got a nice split screen with me on one side and your my quiz on the other. And we will be asking you 50 questions back to back and you uh, you only get 15 seconds to answer them. So. There's not really a possibility of cheating here, so don't worry about anybody at home Googling. There isn't really enough time for that sort of thing. The great thing about this quiz is that it is completely multiple choice, so you can totally guess all the way if you're not sure about any of the answers. Just keep guessing and try and get lucky. Let me show you how the point scoring works. It's very, very straightforward, I can assure you. As you can see, if you tap a correct answer, it's five points. Simple as that. If you get it wrong, it's a zero. So five points and zero. However, we do have a couple of questions which we look at as bonus questions and they're a great chance for you to get lots of points and catch up if you've not had a good quiz so far. So those questions, they will have multiple answers. It will be one question and it will have multiple answers. So it might be something as simple as uh, select the three countries that are in Europe or something like that. And you would go Spain and Germany and England, uh, but you wouldn't go United States. You wouldn't go China. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, with those questions, you get five points for every single one that you uh, tick correctly. However, beware, because if you tick one wrong on one of those multiple answer questions, uh, your correct answers drop down to just one point instead of five. So as an example, if we're asking for three answers and you get them all, that's 15 points, five, five, five. However, if you got one wrong, just two right, you would only score two. You get one point for each of the two that you got right and then a zero for the other one. So you have to be careful. There's a big swing that can happen there. Uh, speed comes into play as well. We give a speed bonus, which is three, two, and one on every single question. Three points if you're the fastest person, two points and one point if you're second or third fastest. And those points can add up as well. In fact, uh, when we did our last quiz just a couple of nights ago, the winner literally won by being fastest on the final question. So can be important. Uh, let's show you just a couple of uh, photos here. Now, this is purely, you've probably already got this set up, but we, we do like to show this when we're doing a quiz with you for the first time, just to give you an idea of how hopefully it looks. So you can see on the left, cat is optional, uh, but we've got a family using a tablet there and me on the TV screen. And then top right hand corner, split screen, that works just as well. You can hear me talking on the left, see me talking on the left, and then put me on the right. And then we've got someone using their mobile phone there and me on the TV as well. So whatever way you want to do it, 
it's completely up to you as long as you can see and hear me then that's absolutely fine so the feed will keep going and going and going over here loads and loads of you now joining in alexandra and alexandra uh, diana and eleanor and the kt30 or the kt30 aloha to you rares uh, the kt30 not sure what that means but we will find out anyway you're having a bit of a chat there and that's good so do join in because this is your night we're in no rush you will see that the countdown for the quiz has finished but don't worry i will start it manually as and when we're ready so a fun yet competitive quiz 50 questions non-stop 15 seconds to answer 30 second gap between each question and prizes to be won and these are the prizes that you can win this evening okay this isn't too bad because the one thing that you guys really need is probably a day off, right? <laughs> I can only imagine uh, how tense things are at the moment. So if you win tonight, one full day's holiday will be awarded to you. That's not bad. That's the best representation I could find online as well. Uh, yeah, you know, you're going you're gonna to emerge Gangnam style from the office and just go and have a full day. Uh, if you are runner up, that's not too bad. You'll get a whole half day, a half day off. And there's Leo just marching out the office enjoying himself. Third place, you'll get a short work day, which basically means coming in a couple of hours later or maybe going home a couple of hours earlier. There are a couple of um, uh, rules to this, obviously, as you can imagine. The prizes need to be between June and October this year so plenty of time to sort it out and you can't just phone up and say hey I'm taking my prize from the quiz you do need to discuss it first of all and agree it with your direct manager but they will be very understanding I'm sure uh, so winner runner up and third place you will win some time off work and don't worry if you're convinced you're going to come last because we have a place for last place as well uh, a prize for last place should I say and I've been told to say it's cookies and that's all I can say. It's cookies. Now, I think it's going to be a little bit better than just a pack of Oreos, uh, but we will see. So whoever finishes last tonight, you will get cookies. I have no idea what that means. We will see. Cookies. Cookie Monster not included. I don't know. What would that be? Cookies. It, sound, it sounds exciting. I'd love to know what you get uh, as and when you know you get your prize. So Rory's is going to try and Google. Uh, now, the thing with Google, if you, if you try and Google, the problem you're going to have is that you will never get a speed bonus. And without speed bonuses, you're probably not going to win. OK, so speed bonuses are quite important. Uh, with the questions, general knowledge, just, just call it general knowledge. So you will get everything from TV and films to history and geography to science to uh, maybe a little bit of sports, but don't worry, it's not boring sports. We've got some fun stuff in there. Uh, just cultural stuff, fun stuff. We do have a few questions as well, which we call first letter questions. So although it will still be an A, B, C, D uh, option with your multiple choice, we only give you the first possible letter of correct answers. So uh, if we were to say who wore the number 23 for the Chicago Bulls famously, uh, if it said L-M-N-O, you would go for M for Michael Jordan. OK, I'm sure that will make sense to all of you. So look out for the first letter questions. They are a little bit trickier because you only get one letter. All right. So we have 33 players and I was told that we would get in between 30 and 35. So it looks like we're just about at the point where we have everyone that will be playing. I don't want to start in case someone's going to jump in. So let's just watch it for a few seconds. It doesn't look like anyone is going to join in. I think we've got you all, which is good. So we'll go over to our game screen and this is how it will look this evening. <clears throat> So you will still have the feed on the right. You will get the questions and the uh, answers coming up on your screens. There will be pictures attached to a lot of the questions as well. Pay attention to the pictures. Sometimes they are relevant. Sometimes they're just on there for aesthetic reasons, okay? So sometimes you need to look at the picture. Sometimes you don't. Everything will make sense as we go, and I'll keep you posted on your top five. The top five will be available on your screens, and our top three will be on the YouTube feed that you're watching as well. Uh, but... 33 has stuck for a while, so I think we're good to go. So if you're ready, please get your handsets, your laptops, your tablets ready, and I will go over to my quiz and kick us off. And when we start, remember, 50 questions. We won't stop. We're going all the way through. All right, let's go over to my quiz, and let's get you started. And here we go with your first question, everybody. The kiwi fruit is native to which country? The kiwi fruit is native to which country? Japan, New Zealand, China, and Australia are your options. And that's it. As simple as that. Just tick the one you think is correct. You can see on the screen uh, as people answer as well. 
Correct answers are in, and look at this, only 17.2% getting the first one right. Lots of you going for New Zealand, hence the word Kiwi, but actually they are native to China. The uh, the New Zealanders stole them and renamed them, but uh, they're actually native to China. So well done if you got it right. Straight away, Deanna is in the lead. Sophia is in second. Sexy is in third with six points. Anna Maria, Alexandra, you have five. You are tied. You are separated by who answered that question quickest. Here comes question number two. Gustav Holt's orchestral suite, The Planets, consists of how many movements? Is it seven, eight, nine, or ten? Do you know classical music? If not, just take a guess. Seven, eight, nine, or ten. How many suites are there? Uh, how many movements, sorry, are there in the uh, suite, The Planets? Seven is the correct answer, and just 15% of you getting this one right. Uh, that's because it, uh, the planets is astrological as opposed to astronomical, which means there was no Pluto and no Earth. Okay, so we didn't include Earth because there's no astrological sign, and Pluto didn't exist at the time anyway. Jules goes into the lead with eight points. I don't know if Jules is male or female. I I'm, I'm, don't know. Uh, Diana, you're in second place with eight. Yulia, Sophia, you've both got seven. And Juana, you have six points. So nice and close as we go on to question number three. Which spirit is the basis of a Mai Tai cocktail? Gin, rum, whiskey, or vodka? Gin, rum, whiskey, or vodka? There is a Mai Tai on your screens to try and help you out a little bit. Gin, rum, whiskey, or vodka? What would you have in a Mai Tai? Your time is up. Let's see what you've all gone for. Most of you getting this. Oh, so you know the ones about alcohol. This is good. This is going to be a fun quiz. 57.1% of you getting that one right. And Sophia goes into the lead, a uh, clear lead as well, 12 points. Anna Maria, well done to you. You're up to second with 10. Jolt on eight, Jules on eight, Deanna on eight. And as I say, you are on the same score, but we have separated you according to who answered the previous question, either correct or fastest. And that is how we will separate you whenever you have a tied score. So be quick. Here's number four. Which of these is essential for the Japanese pastime of ikibana, paper, teapot, pen or flowers? You do need one of those things in order to uh, undertake ikibana. Maybe you, you perform ikibana, I don't know. It will certainly help with this question if you do. Let's have a look. Oh, that's a good question for most of you. Look, 67.9%. It is the Japanese art of flower arrangement, also known as, uh, known as kado or kado. Lady RTN, good question for you. You're into the lead from nowhere. You have 13 points, but you are tied with Adina, Jolt, Diana, and Jules. We have a five-way tie at the top. You're all on 13 points and you're only separated by who was fastest. So a nice close one. Here is question number five out of 50. What nationality is the actress Penelope Cruz? Is she Spanish, Cuban, Mexican, or Costa Rican? So Spanish, Cuban, Mexican, or Costa Rican, the actress Penelope Cruz. There she is in the picture, in case you're not too sure who she might be. And your time is up. Let's see what you've gone for. Okay, the majority getting this one right. She is indeed Spanish. No trick question. 48.3% then getting that one. Adina now takes the lead. She got it right with a speed bonus. You see how important that can be? Diana, 18. Lady RTN, 18. Sophia, 17. And Yulia, 17. So just like that, we've separated the top five. We had a five-way tie. And now it's just a tie for second and a tie for fourth. Okay, so five down. 45 questions to go, lots of points up for grabs. Here is number six. Which of the four open tennis tournaments takes place second in a calendar year? Australian, French, Wimbledon or US? Sadly, not in 2020, of course. Um, Australian did, but uh, the rest are not going to take place by the looks of things, which is quite sad. There's more important things in the world, isn't there? French is the correct answer. A real split across the answers here, but just about the majority of you getting this one right, 32%. Uh, and Adina now taking a bit of a lead. Adina, 29 points. You've got a six-point lead over Lady RTN. Sophia, you have 22. Yulia on 21. And Alida comes into the top five for the first time on 18. So can you get into the top five? Remember, prizes for the top three and a prize if you come last. So lots up for grabs. Here is question number seven. It's a young photo. Have a look at the picture. Is that Boris Johnson, Adele, Donald Trump or Princess Diana? Boris Johnson, Adele, Donald Trump, or Princess Diana, who is in the picture? And your time is up. All of your answers are in, and let's see what you've gone for. 
All right, so the correct answer here is Princess Diana, 41.4%, but 24.1% uh, of you believe that is Boris Johnson, uh, the UK Prime Minister, and 10% of you went for Donald Trump. Uh, poor old Princess Di, that is her. She blossomed, didn't she? She blossomed. Good question for Sophia. She goes into the lead now, 29, tied with our previous leader, Adina. Lady RTN catches up as well. 28, Yulia and Yulia make up our top five. Nice and close. Number eight. It's a first letter question. Look at the picture. It's a 2019 live action remake of which children's cartoon? Your answer will begin with the letter A, B, C or D. Rez, you, you could still win. Don't worry. But there's cookies if you come last. So don't worry. You're going to be fine. Keep going. Loads of points up for grabs. The correct answer here is D for Dora the Explorer. Uh, the film was called Dora and the Lost City of Gold. And 31.8% of you getting that one right. Adina... Back into the lead, you've got 36 points. Yulia jumps into second place with 33. Uh, Lady RTN, you're still there in third place. You are tied with Yulia on 33. Sophia, 29. And Money comes into the top five. Well done. 26 points. <laughs> Here's your next question. Stop it, Radika. Stop telling people to do that. What name connects one of the Spice Girls and the princess who is uh, first in line to the throne of Sweden? Victoria, Jerry, Melanie or Emma? Victoria, Jerry... Melanie or Emma? Let's not have any Googling. Of all the people to suggest that, Radhika, really. Victoria is the co uh, correct answer. That is Princess Victoria in the picture. 54.2% getting it right. And it's all change again at the top uh, of the leaderboard. Yulia now into the lead with 41 points. Lady RTN jumps back into second, 38. Adina drops down with 36 points in third place. Money, uh, I think you were in fourth. You're still there, 31 points. You're tied at the moment with Yulia, Yulia Demian. Both on 31. Here's question number 10. Which of these people would most likely wear a touche blanche on their head? On their head? Teacher, chef, cyclist or painter? A teacher, a chef, a cyclist or a painter? Touche blanche. Exactly, Radhika. That's why we make it 15 seconds. I mean, you're going to have to be a genius to Google and get it right. A chef is the correct answer. It's that big, tall white hat that they famously wear. Uh, I don't think Gordon Ramsay uh, there has ever worn one that I, I can recall anyway. But uh, there you go. Uh, no, not a painter. Um, it's just the, the big white hat. Yulia then. Great question for you. You've got a six-point lead at the top. Lady RTN, 43. Adina, 41. Anna Maria, 32. And Money still hanging around on 31. So nice and close as we hit question number 11. And it's a multiple answer question. Your first one, select the three films that did not win a Best Picture Oscar. Goodfellas, Pulp Fiction, The Revenant, Forrest Gump and The Silence of the Lambs. Make sure you select three. Big points up for grabs. Everything could change on the leaderboard with this question. And the correct answers here, Goodfellas, Pulp Fiction, The Revenant, those are the three that did not win the best picture. Forrest Gump and the Silence of the Lambs did. Forrest Gump, the year that it won, it actually beat Pulp Fiction, which, you know, I mean, it was a great year for movies that year. So well done if you got those ones right. Look at this, Lady RTN. What a great, great question for you. Just like that, into the lead, 58 points. Yulia, down to second, 51 minutes. Anna Maria, Adina and John Doe into the top five. Good evening to you. Here's your next question. Ascorbic acid is another name for which vitamin? A, B, C or D? A, B, C or D? So a nice simple question. Let's see if you can pick up some points. Ascorbic acid, A, B, C or D? C is the correct answer. And you clever bunch, look at this. 82.8% .8 of you knowing that it is indeed vitamin C. Uh, Lady RTN, she knew it. She keeps that seven point lead at the top from Yulia on 56. Anna Maria tucked in just behind on 54. Adina 47. And it's John Doe still uh, on 39 points in fifth place. So as you can see, everything can change because we have got these multiple answer questions. So don't give up. Plenty of points up for grabs. Plenty of time to catch up. And here is question number 13. What is the name of this actor's real life pop star sister? Look at the picture. Rita, Leona, Paloma or Lily. Do you recognize him? Do you recognize the show? That might help you. It might not. Rita, Leona, Paloma or Lily, his real life sister. And your answers are in. Let's see what you've gone for. Okay, yeah, the majority are getting this one right. Lily, as in Lily Allen, and that is Alfie Allen 
who is her brother, uh, seen in Game of Thrones. Uh, so 42.9% of you getting that one right. And things close up a little bit on the leaderboard. Lady RTN, your score uh, has been cut a little bit. 68 points to Yulia now, just four points behind on 64. Adina, 54. Anna Maria, 54. And Yulia, 41. So John Doe drops out of the top five. But let's see if he can come back. Here's number 14. How many US states have no border with any other state? One, two, three, or four. How many US states have no border with any other state? One, two, three, or four. Time is up. Let's have a look and see what you've gone for. Yeah, this was a tough one, okay? So you can see a real split with the answers here, uh, but 28.6% of you getting it right to uh, Hawaii and Alaska. Obviously, uh, they are islands, so it's a slightly different thing, uh, difficult thing to have a border. Uh, Lady RTN, your your lead has been cut again here. Look, you're still out there, but 73 points to Yulia, just two points behind. Adina on 60, Anna Maria 54, and Yulia has 41. So real battle at the top here. Let's see if anyone else can catch up. Number 15. First scene in the film Space Jam. What is the name of Bugs Bunny's girlfriend? Lucy, Bridget, Lola, or Barbara? There she is in the picture. Is that Lucy, Bridget, Lola, or Barbara? Time is up. The correct answer we were looking for is option C, Lola. 74.1% of you getting it right. And a lot of people don't remember that she was first seen in the movie Space Jam. It feels like she goes back a lot further. But uh, no, that was her debut. Uh, they needed a, a female character in the in the movie, so they created one. Lady RTN then, 78 points. Yulia, 76. Adina is still chasing you down with 65. Anna Maria, 60. John Doe coming back into the top five with 47. Yeah, Lola, she's a popular character now. It was a good idea introducing her, I would say. Number 16. The explorer Hiram Bingham III is credited with discovering what? Machu Picchu, the tomb of Tutankhamun, Easter Island or Chichen Itza? A little bit of history for you. Machu Picchu, the tomb of Tutankhamun, Easter Island or Chichen Itza? Hiram Bingham the third. Okay, it's Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Incas. And 14.3% uh, of you getting this, so not many of you. And uh, Yulia gets it, and with a speed bonus, she leaps frog, leapfrog, sorry, over Lady RTN into the lead. Lady RTN into second place, Adina 65, Anna Maria 60, and John Doe 47. So a real tussle between Yulia and Lady RTN, but can anybody catch these two up? We will see. Here comes number 17. In Texas Hold'em poker, which of the following would be the strongest hand? A straight, four of a kind, full house or straight flush? Do you play poker or do you, have you seen movies with poker in? Have you got someone you can quickly ask in your house? Tap away, take a guess if you're not sure. Straight, four of a kind, full house or flush, uh, straight flush. The correct answer is a straight flush. Nobody believing it's a straight and then a complete split across the other answers. Straight flush is the correct answer. Yulia, 84 points. Lady RTN, 78. Adina, 71. Anna Maria, 60. And John Doe, 47. So Adina really catching up at the moment and trying to get back into the top two. Uh, no, not many people play poker, but that's why we're here to try and teach you new things, Radika. Okay, so hopefully you'll know when you next play, if you first play sometime, who knows. Next question, number 18, which of the following would you not want to drink? Horse milk, buffalo milk, yak milk, or reindeer milk? There is a very good reason that you would not want to drink one of those four. Horse milk, buffalo milk, yak milk, reindeer milk, which one? Right, 34.5% of you getting this right. <sighs> really, we need 100% of you getting this one right because if you attempt to drink the milk of a yak, I don't know what you're drinking. A yak is male. It is the name for a male Bosgrunians, which means grunting ox. Uh, the female is called a dree or a knack. So even though they sell you yak milk, it's not from a yak. Okay, <laughs> Awful question. Yulia, 89. Lady RTN, 83. Adina, 71. Anna Maria, 60. And Shafia into the top 552. Number 19. Winston Zedmore was the fourth person to join which fictional movie group? Did he join the Avengers, the Fellowship of the Ring, the Expendables, or the Ghostbusters? The Avengers, the Fellowship of the Ring, the Expendables, or the Ghostbusters? He was the fourth person to join which of those groups? 
Ghostbusters is the correct answer. 32.1% of you getting that one right. He uh, in, he was in both films, in the first one and the second one. Not that terrible remake, which uh, fans of the film totally ignore. Um, oh, this is this is looking ominous here. Yulia is getting stuff right with bonuses. She's out into a real lead here. 13 points ahead of Lady RTN. And then Adina in third, Anna Maria in fourth, and Shafia in fifth. But you can still catch up, I promise you. Loads of points still to be won. Here's number 20. In 2015, a fan paid $64,000 at auction for what item that had once been worn by Michael Jackson? Was it one of his face masks, a glove, a hat, or a jacket? So what would you pay $64,000 for of Michael Jackson? Let's see what you go for. A glove is the correct answer, 55.2%. It was one of his famous white sequined gloves. And Yulia has broken uh, 100 points, the first player to do so tonight. Well done to you. Getting it right, Lady RTN, no, not giving up, 88 points. Adina trying to catch her up on 76. Anna Maria, 65, and Sophia, now she's in the top five, is not disappearing. She has 57. So we're not even halfway yet. Loads and loads of points up for grabs. Let's see if anyone can catch Yulia. Here is number 21. The skincare company Nivea was founded in which country? Was it Germany, the UK, Norway, or France? Germany, UK, Norway, or France? Where was Nivea founded? Which country? If you've been to this particular country, this question should be easy because it's everywhere. Germany is the correct answer. It, I've asked this question before and people always go for Norway because for some reason it sounds Norwegian, that name, doesn't it? It doesn't sound German whatsoever, but it is indeed a German company. Uh, Yulia getting it right, 106. Lady RTN, 93. Adina, 81. Anna Maria, 65. And Sophia, 62 points. Uh, so, yeah, Nivea, German. And like I say, if you're ever in Berlin, there's Nivea shops all over the place. I'm sure some of you knew that. Here's number 22 out of 50 questions. According to the Bible, how many plagues of Egypt were there? 6, 8, 10, or 12? Plagues of Egypt. Were there 6, 8, 10, or 12? There is a representation in the picture there of one of them, which was the locusts. And your time is up. Let's see what you've gone for. Again, okay, tricky question, and you've you've spread yourselves right across the four answers. 10 is the correct answer. 20.7% of you getting that one right. Yulia getting that one right again. She's not getting much wrong here. Going to need her to get a couple wrong if you want to catch her up. But Lady RTN is trying. She's on 98. But she's really being caught now by Adina with Anna Maria and uh, John Doe coming back into the top five. Desperately trying to get that top five finish. You are back there. 62 points. Here's number 23. At which film festival is the Golden Lion awarded to the best film? Berlin, Venice, Cannes or Sundance? There is a Golden Lion in the picture. Berlin, Venice, Cannes or Sundance? Where would you uh, win one of those if you had the best film? Time is up. Let's have a look at your answers. Venice is the correct answer here. 34.5% of you getting that one right. Uh, Yulia uh, stretching the lead a little bit. 117. Lady RTN breaks 100 points. Well done. 103. Uh, just pulling away again from Adina, who's desperately trying to catch you up. You've got 89, Adina. Shafia, 67. Anna Maria uh, knocks John Doe out of the top five and comes back in in fifth place with uh, 65 points. So that is your 23rd question. Here comes number 24. Look at the picture. What is the name of that painting? Is it Apple of My Eye, The Son of Man, Adam, or Fruits of Labour? That's not the full painting, but I'm sure that uh, just seeing that part, you know exactly which one it is. Uh, Apple of My Eye, The Son of Man, Adam, or Fruits of Labour? What is the name of that painting? The Son of Man is the correct answer, and the majority of you getting it, 34.5%. Well done if you got it. Yulia, 122, Lady RTN. Still chasing you down. I keep saying it, but she is not giving up here. 108 points. Adina, 89. Shafia, 72. Anna Maria has 65. So even though Yulia and Lady RTN seem to be a long way ahead, believe me, there's plenty of time to catch up. So many points. And remember, there could be some multiple answer questions coming up. Here's number 25. And it is a multiple answer question. Select all of the correct titles of novels written by Stephen King. Green Mile, Stand By Me, Doctor Sleep, The Outsider, and I Am Legend. Three of them are the names of titles of uh, uh, books written by Stephen King. We're looking for the names of novels. 
Will this change anything? Well, it has done. Look, the Green Mile, Doctor Sleep and The Outsider are the correct answers. Stand By Me um, was a movie that was made on King's novella, which was called The Body and I Am Legend is by Richard Matheson. And what a question for Yulia. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Just like that, 140 points ahead of Lady RTN on 110, Adina 91, Sophia 73 and Moni on 72. Wow. You, can anyone catch Yulia? We're at the halfway point. Here is number 26. Which of these words refers to the twinkling of stars, oscillation, scintillation, titillation, or vacillation? One of them means twinkling of stars. Is Julia going to get this one right as well? Let's have a look. Time is up. Scintillation is the correct answer. 69.2% of you getting it. And yeah, Yulia still maintaining that lead. Well done. Uh, scintillation, not too tricky, was it? Um, so Yulia, 145. Lady RTM, 115. Adina, 96. Money, 77. And Jolt, 73. We have seen uh, people lose score, lose leads of more than 40 points doing this quiz before. So really, Yulia, you haven't won it yet. Plenty of time for Lady RTM, Adina, or somebody else to catch you up. Here is number 27. Which film starring Robin Williams ends with the words, thank you, boys, thank you. Is it Good Will Hunting, Jumanji, uh, Good Morning Vietnam, or Dead Poet Society? One of them, the very last line in the movie is, thank you, boys, thank you. But which one is it? Time is up. And the correct answer here was option D, the Dead Poet Society. Yulia getting it right and Lady RTN getting it wrong. This lead is really stretching. 153 points she's out to now, Yulia. Lady RTN 115. Adina, you're just nine points off second place. Uh, and that half-day holiday, 96. Moni, if you can catch up and get into third place, you could get a few hours off for one morning. So keep going. Same goes for you, Sophia, because you're only a couple of points behind Moni. Lots to play for still. Here's number 28. What is the name for the protective leather trousers worn by cowboys? Are they lads, chaps, guys, or dudes? Not necessarily a tricky uh, question, but can you be fast and pick up some bonus points? And your time is up. The correct answer here is B, chaps. Chaps, and 53.6% of you getting that one right. Yeah, you can just see him wearing them there. Uh, it protects you uh, getting chafing on your legs and uh, never regions, as it were. Yulia has a 41-point lead at the top. Yulia, you're the person we're going to keep talking about because you're so far ahead. Oh, I don't know. This would be a record if you lost here. I don't want to jinx it or anything, but 41 points. Nobody's ever come back from that, but we will see. Lady RTN, Adina, Money and Zoltz make up our top five. So is anyone going to get anywhere near Yulia? Number 29. What is the name of the uh, TV character in this well-known meme? Look at the picture. Is his name Chris, Barry, Archie or Andy? We're looking for the name of the TV character. Is that Chris, Barry, Archie or Andy? See if Yulia knows about TV. Yep, and she got a bonus. <laughs> okay, that's Andy from Parks and Recreation becoming a, a famous meme as well. 24.1% of you getting it right. Yulia got it right and she was faster than any of you. So she not only got it right, she got some bonus points as well. Uh, she is desperate for this day off. Fair play to you. Lady RTN, you're still holding on to second place and you stretch away a little bit. Adina third, Moni fourth and Jolt in fifth. Treat yourself, you know it. Thanks, Julia. Here's number 30. The global positioning system or GPS is operated by which of the following? Is it the US Postal Service, the US Navy, the US Army, or the US Space Force? So GPS, which we use every day in our phones and our cars and what have you, who actually operates it? Postal Service, Navy, Army, or Space Force in the USA? Wow, you knew this one. 57.1% .1 of you getting it right. It is indeed the US Space Force. A lot of people don't believe me when I tell them this fact, but it's true. The, uh, the uh, Air Force actually handed it over completely to the Space Force. So well done if you got it. My goodness, Yulia. Yulia, have you, have you hacked into my system or something? Wow, 54-point lead now, Yulia. Uh, 174 to Lady RTN on 120. Adina, Money, and Anna Maria are our top five. What is going on? Here's your next one. First letter question, look at the picture. This is a 2018 cast reunion of which show? H, F, S, Y. The uh, answer begins with the letter H, F, S or Y. Do you recognise those people in the picture? I'm sure Yulia does. 
Yep, she got it. Uh, S is the correct answer. S for the cast of Scrubs, one of the greatest TV shows ever made, in my opinion. I absolutely adore it. Uh, and yeah, so if you got it right, well done. Yulia, 182. Lady RTN sadly getting it wrong, which means Yulia's lead just extends. Adina, you could still catch second, 112. Moni, you could still get into the top three as well. You've got 93. And Jolt, same goes for you with 91. But really, can Yulia lose? I don't know. I doubt it. Here's number 32. Look at the picture and name the band. Is that Savage Garden, Muse, Aha, or Biffy Clyro? Savage Garden, Muse, Aha, or Biffy Clyro? Do you recognise them? Very well known. Obviously, all those bands are well known. But do you know who that band is? Time is up. And the correct answer here is Aha, as they look today. Uh, to be honest, Morton Harkett, the lead singer, hasn't changed too much. He's, he's done well. Uh, he's aged very well. Uh, so yeah, aha, 48.3% of you getting it. Lady RTN making a comeback. She gets that one right. But Yulia onto 190. Then Lady RTN, Adina 117, stretching that lead away again from Moni, who sadly got it wrong. And Jolt, you did not catch Moni. That was a chance for you to leapfrog her there. But top three looks set here. But can anyone catch? We will see. Look at the picture, number 33. Which of these brothers is the oldest? Is it Emilio Estevez or Charlie Sheen? Emilio Estevez or Charlie Sheen? We are still playing very much for pride here, people. When you go into the office, everyone's going to be saying, where did you finish? How did you do? Let's try and get you as high as we can. 33 question, 34.4% of you getting this one right. Emilio is actually the older of the two. He was born in 62. Uh, Charlie Sheen was born three years later. He He's definitely aged a little bit uh, for various reasons. Uh, yep, Yulia approaching 200 points, just not getting anything wrong at the moment. 198. Lady RTN sadly getting that one wrong. 125. So Adina closes the gap again. Uh, to just eight points on second place. Then Moni and Jolt still tucked in on 93 and 91, respectively. Here's number 34. What is the world's smallest species of penguin? Is it the little penguin, the macaroni penguin, the gentoo penguin, or the erect crested penguin? One of them is the smallest species of penguin in the world. But which one? Time is up. And uh, the clues in the question here, it, it's literally the little penguin. They just called it little. Little penguin, 20.7% uh, of you getting it right. They do have subspecies called the Australian little and the little blue, but they are uh, the genus little penguin. Yulia then through 200 points, 206 now. Lady RTN, 125. Adina, 117. Anna Maria, 96. And Moni, 93. So Yulia gets speed bonuses there as well as getting it right. This is a monster score we're seeing here keep going guys here's number 35 look at the picture what is the name of this 2002 album by the Foo Fighters all my life one by one times like these or best of you all my life one by one times like these or best of you do you like the Foo Fighters did you see them when they, they were here did they perform here am I imagining that no I'm dreaming that they haven't been here have they one by one is the correct answer. 37.9% of you getting that one right. And Yulia gets it right as well. Look at this, though. The real battle is for that half day's holiday with Lady RTN and Adina, who has really closed the gap. And it's down to just three points. So that's where the real battle is. But Anna Maria, you're uh, past 100 points as well. You could still get into the top three. Alexandra approaching 100 with 97. So interesting. Here's number 36. In history, what has been the most common name for a Pope? John, Gregory, Benedict, or Innocent? What has been the most common name for a Pope in history? John, Gregory, Benedict, or Innocent? Answers coming in and your time is up. And John is the correct answer. 34.5% of you getting it right. There's been 21 of them, plus two more John Pauls. Gregory, there's 16. Benedict's 15. And Innocent, there were 13 of them. So all very popular names. Uh, but John is the correct answer. Uh, Yulia, I think, did she get that one wrong? 211. I don't know. Nearly, though, a 90-point lead from Lady RTN on 125. Adina, just behind. Uh, OK. Uh, Alexandra, 102. Anna Maria, 101. This is close. Can Adina catch up? Which 2011 comedy movie starred Simon Pegg, Nick Frost and Seth Rogen? John, Paul, George or Ringo? So Lady RTN has been in second place for ages. But can Adina or Alexandra or any of you catch her up? 
Okay, so the movie is called Paul. It's a really cool movie. They go and visit Area 51, and then Seth Rogen plays a little alien, which they discover. It sounds ridiculous, but it's really, really good. Go and look it up if you haven't seen it. Oh, look, all change. Yulia getting it right. We know what's going on there. She's got a 90-point lead. But Adina goes into second place on 129. Lady RTN drops back to 125. Alexandra, you could still catch up. Uh, You've got 102, 23-point gap, 13 questions to go. Can be done. Number 38. In Australian slang, what would you usually do with a maggot bag? Would you drink it, kick it, eat it, or wear it? Yulia, I'm with you. I've uh, got his autobiography actually in the uh, office there, and I'm halfway through it. I absolutely adore Simon Pegg. You've got a a fan in me. I'm with you. Uh, Eat it is the correct answer. Rather disgustingly, they like to call uh, a maggot bag um, a meat pie. It's a meat pie. Uh, So, yeah, meat pie. Disgusting. Uh, Yulia... You're still out in the lead. Adina, 129. Lady RTN, then. You're, you're falling back a little bit. Jolt comes into fourth place, chasing down Lady RTN. Alexandra is there on 102 points. Can Lady RTN hold on for a few hours off work, or is somebody going to pinch it from them? We will see. Number 39. Look at the picture. It's an autograph, but whose is it? Is that Tom Hardy or Tom Hanks? Choice of two, Tom Hardy, Tom Hanks. It's a tricky one. Tom Hardy or Tom Hanks? Time is up. Oh, look at this. It's not tough at all. 62.1% of you getting the correct answer. That is Tom Hanks autograph. And he doesn't sign very often. So if you get one of those, uh, it's it's a good one for the collection. Oh, this is looking so close. So Yulia, way out in the lead, nearly with a 100-point lead here. 97-point lead at the moment. Adina, still in second place on 134. Lady RTM 130. Alexandra and Jolt. Let's have a look. 11 questions to go. Can you get third place? We will see. Question number 40. What size of paper measures 297 millimetres by 420 millimetres, which is 16 and a half by 11.7 inches? A2, A3, A4, A5. Quickly work it out and then work it out and then and then get the right answer. A2, A3, A4, A5. A3 is the correct answer. 37% of you getting that one right. Yeah, it's slightly bigger than A4, I'm afraid. you just got to quickly work it out with your hands, haven't you? And you could have got it. But uh, let's have a look. It's not much changing. Adina is holding on to second place, which, remember, is a half-day holiday. Lady RTN is still in third, looking sort of safe, but it's only 18 points back to Alexandra and Jolt on 105. This is close. Here comes number 41. Which famous song has the opening line, here comes Johnny Yen again with the liquor and drugs? Is that from Tub Thumping, In the Club, Enter Sandman or Lust for Life? Mihaila, that's what we try and do. Raise your anxiety levels. It can be very exciting. We don't normally have someone like Yulia so far in the lead. It's often a lot closer, but still plenty to play for. Lust for Life, you may remember from the movie Trainspotting, uh, famously. 44, 44.4% of you getting it right by Iggy Pop. Yulia, 136. Let's have a look and see if things have changed. Not too much. Adina, 134. Lady RTN, 130. Alexandra, just still that 18 points that you've got to catch up. That's not much. A couple of speed bonuses, you can do it. Jolt, you've got 105. Can you catch up? I don't know. Things could still change from second through to fifth. Here's your next question. Number 42 in 2004, which sporting star launched a clothing line called Aneres? Was it Lance Armstrong, Serena Williams, Michael Phelps, or Steffi Graf? Aneres. Now, the line has uh, changed its name, so uh, it's not called Aneres anymore. And it is indeed Serena Williams. More than half of you getting it right. Aneres is simply Serena spelt backwards, and I think she just calls uh, it Serena Williams now, like designs by Serena Williams or something like that. I don't know. Uh, Yulia, 139. Good question for Adina. 139. Lady RTN getting that one wrong. Alexandra looks like she got it wrong as well, but... uh, Eleanor. Eleanor's coming into the top five now. Could she still get a few right and get into third place? Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look then. Number 43. What type of animal is a chinchilla, rodent, marsupial, reptile or primate? So Alexandra, Eleanor, you need Lady RTN and Adina to get some wrong here for you to try and get into that second or third place. Okay, so what is a chinchilla? Answers are in. 
It's a rodent, and yeah, lots of you knowing this one. 53.6%, it is indeed a rodent. Oh, things have got tight. Look at this. Uh, Dina gets it right. She's looking good for second place now, but Lady RTN has got a couple wrong, and Alexandra, you're now just 10 points off winning yourself a couple of hours off work. Wow, it's close. Anna Maria back into the top five on 111 as well. And with seven questions to go, still lots of points to be won. More than 50 points, more than 60 points. Keep going. What is the name of this animated TV show? Look at the picture. Is that called Wonderland PD, Paradise PD, Heaven PD or Eden PD? There will be at least one more question coming up with multiple answers. So you guys could still get into the top three. All right, answers are in. The correct answer here is option B, Paradise PD. It's a very popular program. If you haven't seen it, it is available on Netflix. 27.6% of you getting it. Adina, look, stretching away. It looks like first and second could be secured. But just like that, Alexandra, she is five points off third place. Lady RTN is having a nightmare. She's got three or four wrong in a row. Anna Maria is still trying to catch up. Six questions remaining. One of them will have multiple answers, but here is number 45. The world's best-selling newspaper is published in which language? English, Chinese, Hindi, or Japanese? English, Chinese, Hindi, or Japanese? The world's best-selling newspaper, as in physical newspaper that you would still read, like in the olden days. All right, time is up and your answers are in. Believe it or not, the answer here is Japanese. 11.1% of you getting that only. It's called the Yomiuri Shimbun. It's published twice a day, but even just the morning version outsells any other newspaper in the world. It has a circulation of around 13.5 million. Okay, Adina, you're still out there. You're looking good. Oh, Lady RTN, 137. Alexandra, you're 12 points behind now. Anna Maria didn't get that one either. Oh, five questions to go. Here is number 46. Which of the following is not a throwing event within an Olympic decathlon? Hammer, javelin, discus or shot put? So in the decathlon they do three of those events but not one of them. Which is the one they do not do? Hammer, javelin, discus or shot put? Alexandra really needing to get this one right. And she doesn't, sadly. Hammer is the correct answer. 13.8% only getting this one right. Uh, Yulia and Adina way out in front. Lady RTN, she got it wrong, Alexandra. That was a chance for you. Same with you, Anna Maria. You didn't get it right either. Oh, these points are going begging. But there are four questions remaining. One of them will have a uh, multiple answer option, so you can get 15 points from that one, plus three bonuses. I don't know. Can Alexandra do it? We will see. 47. In November 2013, which movie became the last ever DVD to be rented from a blockbuster store? Was it End of Days, Final Destination, This Is The End, or Gone in 60 Seconds? So a real random bit of trivia for you here. Take a guess. See if you can get it right. Is Alexandra going to get it right? Oh, no. Look, it's uh, This Is The End is genuinely the last ever uh, vi uh, DVD that was rented out. 21.4% of you getting it. In fact, the only person that got it by the looks of things was Yulia. Lady RTN still 12 points ahead of Alexandra. Juana is catching up as well. We've got three questions remaining. Can Alexandra catch Lady RTN? It's going to take a bit of a minor miracle, but you never know. There is a prize up for grabs for third place, remember. Here's number 48. What was introduced into the game of basketball 21 years after the game was invented? Did they introduce a ball that could bounce, a three-point shot, a hole in the bottom of each basket, or backboards? One of those things was introduced 21 years after the game was invented. But which one? Time is up. The correct answer with just 17.9% getting it right is a hole in the bottom of each basket. Believe it or not, for the first 21 years, they actually did not have a hole in the basket and a man had to climb up a ladder and get the ball out every single time. And then one day someone said, this would be a lot easier if we put a hole in the bottom of the basket. And look at that. The rest is history. Nobody got it right at all here, but Emily did. She's into the top five. Well done to you. Here is your penultimate question, number 49. Alexandra, you need to get this one. How many herbs and spices make up the secret blend used for Kentucky Fried Chicken? 9, 10, 11 or 12? Come on, Alexandra. This is your chance. Can you catch Lady RTN? She's getting questions wrong here. Whew. Lady RTN could still catch Adina, though, looking at it. 
Oh, look at this. It's not bad yet. 11, uh, 11 herbs and spices. And famously, if you go to their Twitter account, KFC, you will see that they only follow 11 people. They follow each of the five Spice Girls and six random people called Herb. There's a little trivia uh, tidbit for you. Right, last question coming up, and it is a multiple answer question. And Alexandra, you could still catch Lady RTM because you've closed the gap. It's a seven point gap to her. Good luck, everybody. Final question, multiple answers. Number 50. Select three countries that the River Danube passes through. Slovakia, Switzerland, Moldova, Croatia, Slovenia. The River Danube goes through three of them. Get it right. Okay, your time is up. And here is the correct answers. Slovakia, yes. Switzerland, no. Moldova, yes. Just 6.7% of you name that the Danube does indeed reach Moldova. Croatia, yes. Slovenia, no. Uh, Germany, Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Croatia, Serbia, Bulgaria, Romania, Moldova, and finally the Ukraine are the countries that it passes through. So look, here we are at the end. And what a win it was. For Yulia, Yulia P, you've absolutely dominated this quiz and you will win a full day's holiday. Congratulations to you with 254 points. Adina, you left it late, but once you got into that second position, you refused to give it up and you will get a half day holiday from your bosses on 161 points. And look, oh my goodness, it was so close at the end. Lady RTN does end up in third place, well deserved as well because Lady RTN uh, was in third place for such a long uh, uh, way in that quiz. So you just held on. And I do mean just held on because Eleanor from nowhere came into fourth place uh, on 135. Alexandra, so close, she dropped back just to place to uh, fifth on 132. Then we have Juana on 129, Amelie 123, Le Quizarab 119, Iniko finished on 115, and Jolt, you got 113 points. So, wow, that was uh, despair despite the absolute domination from Yulia, who is a class quizzer. Fair play to you. Yulia, we need to get you quizzing on our regular quizzes. Maybe you already are, because we have a few Yulias. I don't know. But congratulations to you. Congratulations to Adina. And congratulations to Lady RTN. Now, I won't bring the report up on my screen, but we will find out who came last as well, because you are in line to receive cookies from your bosses or from your peers or from whoever's going to uh, get them to you. Uh, lots of people saying congratulations to Yulia. Um, and Radhika is asking, uh, can she please have the uh, real names of the, the top four uh, and the person in fourth? So can you please make sure that Radhika gets uh, your full details? Yulia, Adina is there. Yulia, Adina, Lady RTN and Eleanor P. Uh, make sure, please, that Radhika gets your details. It looks like there might be a prize for fourth as well. Uh, Radhika, I know you're watching. I will make sure that you find out uh, from the full report who came last. So look, that was tremendously exciting. If you've enjoyed tonight, or if you, if you know, maybe you, maybe you don't like your anxiety levels rising as much as they were, um, I would like to tell you, and, and Radhika prompted me to tell you this, that we do run quizzes twice a week, uh, purely for Romania. Uh, we do one on a Wednesday, which is general knowledge, and it's in exactly the same format, 50 questions, nice, fast paced all the way through. We give away great prizes, really nice prizes. And we also do a themed one every Saturday night, and uh, Saturday night, it, this Saturday, it's geography. Tomorrow night, geography. So if you love geography, now will be a good time to come along and join our quizzes. So geography tomorrow night. We've done lots of themes, Harry Potter. We've done Marvel just recently. We've done uh, history and we did uh, Eurovision just a, a week or two ago. So um, yeah, if you want to come and join us, uh, I will put the details on the screen of how you can sign up. And Radhika, I know, will be very happy to tell you about how you can come and join our regular quizzes as well. They are a bit of a test because we have anywhere between 150 and 200 people playing, but we do give away really lovely prizes to the winners. We can't give you days off work, I'm afraid, but we can give you lots and lots of fun prizes. All right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you, and thank you so much for joining in. Remember, if you finished in the top four, please send your details to Radhika so she can uh, help you out with your uh, with your prizes. And uh, if you do want any more details, feel free to look me up, Mark Jenner on YouTube, or uh, Mark Jenner on Facebook as well, and, uh, and drop me a line and I can give you details about the quiz as Cameradica. Thank you so much, everybody. Make sure you stay home and make sure you stay safe.